Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're back in the garage here just taking a look at our ECS Ruckus Brushless. And this is definitely one of the workhorses in our, our stable next to our, our other favorite here, the, the Slash two-wheel drive monster truck um, that, uh, that we've shot other videos on. But I uh, just wanted to walk you guys through uh, some of our experiences with this truck. This is a great truck to uh, to bring you know to, to bring to the park, let beginners drive, let kids drive. Uh, it is brushless, so the, the battery life is is uh, is pretty long. It's a more efficient motor, um, but uh, it also is more powerful and faster. And uh, you know usually that isn't a problem uh, with a lot of these first-time drivers. We'll actually uh, we'll actually take care of the gas and teach the kids how to steer the car first, right? So. Uh, we'll be in charge of the gas and uh, any uh, any any mishaps that maybe arise um, from from letting kids uh, go on the gas because they usually just go full throttle. Um, those can be prevented by having uh, an adult control the gas. So this has been a pretty reliable truck in our our opinion. This this has the upgraded uh, aluminum shocks here, which which are a, a nice touch. We actually got this truck off of Craigslist. Um, it's been pretty durable. The the only issues that we've had really are uh, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but um, there's there's a screw uh, that holds this suspension arm, this top suspension arm in, uh, and we've actually replaced that with a bolt and a nut of the same size. Um, I, I don't have the exact dimensions off the the top of my head, but the the stock one, which we still have on this other side, is just a self-tapping screw, and it's it's a it's coarse thread screw. Um, it's actually on the other side here and that has a tendency of, of falling out actually with with use so um, you know replacing that with a, a nut and a bolt right and a locking bolt at that um, has definitely been uh, a more reliable option we'll probably do that as a, a preventative measure on this other side but just wanted to show you guys the difference there um, and other than that you know another weak spot on these cars is actually the drive shafts the plastic drive shafts uh, people uh, will actually upgrade or you know modify uh, slash tracks of slash two wheel drive drive shafts and put them in here. Um, we've we've had a spare chassis on hand, uh, so we've just been using the drive shafts off of that. But um, you know if if we have any more breakages, uh, we'll, we might consider upgrading to the the slash two wheel drive plastic shafts. Or you know my my preference is actually to go for a metal shaft. Uh, another change that we've done here is actually um, you just put a piece of electrical tape on the end bell of the uh, the brushless motor. Usually it's open, but we run, as you can see, we run through a lot of sand and grit and, and wet grass and whatnot. Um, so just being able to protect uh, that motor a little bit more, uh, the bearings of the motor. Uh, the, the taser system in here, the brushless system, it does run a little bit hot, so a little bit hotter than I'd prefer, um, even with pretty conservative gearing. So. Um, you know, if you're if you're buying this truck, I, I'd probably recommend going with the brushed version and then upgrading to brushless later. You know, of course, figure out if you if you like the truck first um, or if you like RC if you're starting out. If you even like it, you know, save the money off the brushless system. Get the brushed system to begin with, and then you can upgrade to uh, a, a better system than this Taser system. It's it's kind of a mediocre system. Um, the wires are pretty thin as well, and it and it runs pretty hot. Um, and pretty much the only upgrade you need to do uh, on some of these is you, you need to actually upgrade to the metal gears, which is about 20 bucks or so. Um, so just a, another thing to consider if you if you want to uh, or if you're intent on going brushless from the beginning, um, you, you may want to consider another platform like the, the Slash two-wheel drive that has a full metal transmission to begin with um, or else it's, it's going to cost you some extra money. Uh, to upgrade this ECX later, uh, but um, you know this has been a great workhorse. Um, parts availability has been a little bit difficult. Um, you know our local hobby shops, the two of them don't don't stock ECX parts readily, so everything needs to be special ordered. Uh, so that's another consideration as well. You know check with your local hobby shop if they stock the parts, uh, or else if you break anything, you may be waiting for stuff to be shipped to you or to the hobby shop. Uh, but anyways, this is just our, our long-term review. We've, we've had this truck for probably over a year now. I forgot the exact dates, but um, it's definitely been durable. Uh, a couple of broken things here, but we drive and we let the kids drive this truck pretty hard. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching Racing to Learn. Follow us on Facebook, like us, um, and subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, of course, we always enjoy your comments. Thank you.